Hi, my name is Robert and I'll be showing you a very cool trick on uh, creating a chart in Excel. In this specific case, we have here a few brands of uh, home theater manufacturers like Toshiba, Philips, Sony and LG. And the objective of this, of this chart is to actually represent it as if it were a um, a home theater itself. So the first thing we're going to be doing here is to uh, select the uh, area that contains our data. Then we go to the insert tab and we're going to be creating a line chart, a very simple one. And well, we can do some cleanup here first and we can get rid of these um, lines and the legend as well. Now, we're going to be formatting this axis here. Uh, we want to set the minimum value to uh, 3000 and we also want to set the maximum value to 5000 and the major unit is going to be 500. Now the axes are going to cross at the value of uh, 3000 as we changed above so you can click close to get that done so you have already this line chart here. The next thing we're going to be doing is to select the uh, x-axis and we also are going to change that to uh, the values of the brand names. Uh, in fact it's better if we actually select the entire chart and simply uh, select the data because in this case you can simply edit the uh, horizontal or the category axis label. So you click on edit and then you can select the, uh, the values in the worksheet. So you click OK and as you will see you now have the names. Now the next thing you're going to be doing is to select the uh, the line in this case we're selecting the first series then you go to a layout and under layout you have here the analysis group now on the analysis group we're going to be doing two things the first thing we're going to be adding the up and down bars once you do that you have these little boxes here and next you select the uh, 2004 series and for this series we're going to be adding a line so in this case we want to drop line so that the lines go all the way down I mean you can in actual fact make these lines a little bit thicker if you want later but for the moment we don't want uh, to get involved into all that I mean if you want also to um, add a title to your chart you can also do that that is not a problem and it is very easy you can simply go here and choose centered overlay title and in this case uh, we could type something like uh, home theaters sales uh, for and then 2004 and 2005 of course the title here is quite large so we can uh, reduce the font size to something like maybe 12 or 11 so that it looks a little bit better now next you will simply select uh, the line and you're going to be formatting this line so you go to uh, the format tab and on the shape outline you don't want it to have any color so you just choose white and the same you're going to be doing here for the second series so you select it then shape outline and you just choose white and finally you will select the um, the boxes or the uh, up down bars and we're going to be adding the background that is going to um, make the whole difference in this thing so we're still here on the uh, format contextual tab and we go to shape fill and then we choose picture and then you can look for your picture in this case here I have this little uh, speaker and then you click insert and then Excel inserts uh, this for you and as you can see you have this very um, nice chart which looks almost almost as if it is one of those uh, nice uh, home theater stands with your loudspeaker and you can represent you know your chart in this way because it, it does give sort of a, a very nice visual impact to uh, your presentation so I hope you have liked this video and the chart I have just presented. So until next time, my name is Robert.